Yo, what's up guys? This is Terrell, also known as like three or four or five different YouTube names, but the and you'll know depending on what channel you're watching this on which name you're you might know me from. But I am a YouTube creator. I make videos on video games, anime, and I'll vlog and I'll talk about life. A variety of stuff. And I have a Patreon account. Now for some of you you may have already known this because I've had this Patreon for I think a little bit over a year now. But the way my Patreon account was originally structured it wasn't good at all it didn't really convey things right it wasn't really appealing for people who wanted to you know donate for the sake of whether you wanted to support me or maybe you wanted some type of reward either way it wasn't really set up in a way that would benefit those people regardless of what you were uh, donating for and while I appreciate those who have already donated I decided to go back and restructure my patreon to simplify it and to make it more appealing for the mass audience so the first thing I'll do is I'll explain what Patreon is. It's just a place for creators, people who create stuff but don't want to go through the, who don't want to do traditional freelancing in the sense that maybe freelancing isn't enough, or maybe YouTube isn't paying right, or advertising isn't pay right. For example, a lot of animators do it this way because animators, the way they animate their videos, the way they do animations, take like two or three months. Which means they can easily look like they've dropped off of the face of the earth, but no, they could be working really hard on animation. Two or three months later, the animation comes out. Well, that's three months of pay from YouTube they don't get. So they're like, well, I'll just get paid directly through the people who care about me and care about the stuff and want to see my stuff. It's a, pretty much, it's just, it's cutting out the middleman and making it as streamlined as possible for you to support the people who you truly enjoy, whether it's art, music, YouTube videos, movies whatever that's what patreon is for now to kind of talk about what I'm doing on patreon well I have a job and I'm not trying to make this a full-time thing but I if I can get support for doing the stuff that I do I appreciate everybody who has and may get support in the future you don't have to you don't need to it's just an option if you want to that's really what it boils down to and now let's get into the rewards because the one thing I've learned through doing patreon and looking at other people's patreons is you have to be transparent as possible because my original patreon although i was being transparent was also a very annoying waiting game and didn't have that much appeal to it but i'll get to some of the more frequent asked questions at the end of this so let's go for the rewards the first reward is the dollar reward which is a simple thank you i appreciate it if you want to donate in general i appreciate it thank you it, it means a lot that people think I'm worthy of giving money to. That's that's the first thing, so that's the dollar reward. The next one is the three dollar reward, which is the copyright alliance reward. Essentially, I will send you a private folder on a, cl a cloud folder in which you can watch not only the old videos I've had that's been taken down for copyright infringement that some of you may have never seen before because they got taken down, and two videos that new videos that I may have recently recorded but I can't put up for the obvious copyright infringement reasons which would include things like maybe possible AMVs and reaction videos and new reviews I wanted to do but I wanted to use clips from the anime and I can't do that on YouTube so yeah it, it, it's, a, it's a combination of new and old stuff and then the final reward tier the final reward tier is the digital giveaway which is almost exactly what it sounds like I do a raffle once a month, and you can win things like uh, eShop codes for whether it's uh, Nintendo, Sony, Steam, Xbox, uh, maybe a subscription for like a month or two months of Crunchyroll or Netflix. Anything, pretty much any major digital distribution I can do are presenting like codes for the winner to kind of, um, I've lost my, I've lost the word for it, redeem, that's what I was looking for redeem for some type of value as kind of a thank you for those who pledge five dollars monthly that's it uh and those are the only three reward tiers i had now to kind of go into some frequently asked questions well the first question is why did you only make it three rewards i know the more rewards you make the harder it is to keep up with and it's better to start small and gradually get bigger as either the donations get bigger as you get more comfortable with those reward tiers so you don't feel like you're overloading yourself and you don't turn into a situation where you feel like your patreon your patrons are getting exposed not exposed but getting uh, shafted because you can't hand because you didn't think things through so I made it super easy 
We talk about so well, why 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 are your copyright alliance stuff on a cloud site? Why is that a reward tier not free? Well, let me talk about that. First off, YouTube is constantly changing, and and even recently, as of this video, there's this whole terms of ad uh, advertiser friendly crap, and you already had the copyright issues that have been going on for years now. It doesn't make any sense for me to think that I can keep all my videos on there, and I, so I need to look up for a backup plan regardless. And obviously, we don't know what the next big thing is. So having a cloud folder that has my stuff in it, because I've saved almost every edited video I've done. A lot of my videos I still have. Uh, and it also allows people who have never seen those videos before to have them. For example, my second channel, Terrell Game Vlogs, I did an episode review for every episode of Mushibago. All those videos got claimed because Japan doesn't like me. Well, you ain't going to claim a cloud uh, saving service. So those people get rewarded. It's like, well, why? Why is it paid? Well, it's because I'm using. I have to pay for the service to host the stuff on. So it's pretty much feeding back into the the yearly payments I have to do um, to keep the cloud service, which you're hosting the videos and which you guys are viewing them on or downloading them. Because I will present you that option if you want to download them. Um, this will also be a cool thing that maybe in the future, if I ever want to do collaborations, I can send files this way. So that's why I did it this way. So some people might ask, why didn't you put it on Daily Motion? I could have done that, but there's nothing stopping the same issues from happening on other sites. Cloud services are for you and your eyes only and whoever you want to share it with. It makes it super easy. I'm trying to be super transparent with it. That's why. Also, the fact that I've had my videos claimed or copyrighted, blocked, even when I've had them unlisted or private. I think, maybe not private, but I know unlisted because if they're private, you still can't share them, which is the whole point. You know, if, if I'm doing this for the patrons, they need to be shared the videos, and it just creates another inconvenience. Who wants to go to a YouTube video to just click another link to another fucking window that they didn't want to go to anyway? And then on top of that, the video probably still has to be heavily edited because YouTube is in their copyright infringement thing, where it's like, oh, even if it's for reviewer critique, we don't necessarily count this, or maybe we don't count that, or maybe the company who owns that particular show or series or whatever I'm doing. Uh, wherever footage I'm using doesn't want it just on the internet by people and in general so you know this is just an easy way of ignoring all of that and getting the full experience because if I'm gonna do a reaction video I'd rather just put the episode up in a tiny box corner on the side of the screen and have my face be the other part so you can just watch it straight up instead of doing what a lot of reaction video people have to do where they have to like cut off the entire video and only have the subtitles at the top of the screen put some type of bullshit ass filter Sometimes they have to fucking edit and jump through different parts of the whole episode. So you're not even getting a full episode reaction. You're getting like maybe 12 minutes of a 23 episode uh, reaction's worth. And some people don't want to deal with that. So I made this as transparent and made it as easy as possible. And then the $5 reward. Now, on my old Patreon, I, I was trying to do physical rewards, but that was a pain in the ass. And realistically, digital rewards as of right now would be the best way to go. Because not everybody wants to give their fucking address. Some people can't because they're kids. But digital code sending through emails is super easy. I literally would send you a code, you go to the site and redeem it. And since a lot of places do gift cards, it'd be the easiest shit in the world to do. Uh, and you wouldn't have to, and it wouldn't require much on your end because all you would do is you receive an email with a here's the code for Crunchyroll, here's the code for uh, PSN, here's the code for Xbox Live. And then you, you just you go and put it in. Super easy, super simple. Don't have to give out any real information because you got to have an e email just to do a Patreon to begin with, to have a Patreon account to even, um, to even I guess, pledge for rewards in the first place. So I made it super easy and super transparent. There are three reward tiers. Two of them actually give out stuff and they stack. So if you get the $5 reward, you're obviously getting the $3 reward too. It's the same concept. So, um, those are any those are my main uh, I would think would be the major concerns uh, as far as my long-term goals I want to move I want to move into a new house I want to build a new gaming PC a good one that would last me for years I'm the kind of guy who can't stand buying shit every year if I can afford it I'll buy it once and won't buy nothing again for like another five or six years so and all my goals are like that I want to do things quick and fast and efficient as I possibly can. But um, 
I don't think I really have anything else I need to convey. The links have always been in the description. I think it's the first link that you see in the description for almost all of my videos. So my Patreon is down there. You can look at it yourself. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all your support, whether it's on YouTube or whether it's on any other thing I do. I just appreciate it. And by the way, the majority of the stuff is still coming on YouTube. If it's not, if I don't get caught on some copyright bullshit, it will be on YouTube. Simple. It's only the stuff that can't be on YouTube that I'm putting into the Copyright Alliance. That's why I'm calling it the Copyright Alliance one. So any vlogs, any of that, there's not like exclusive vlogs. And then also this is more of a direct communication hub because on Patreon you can kind of have your little community on your Patreon page. So if you want to talk and chat and ask questions and send messages, it's perfectly fine. Um, but I think that's all the major stuff. And as I said, if I miss anything, you can let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. This has been the Insane Game Freaks for all game vlogs with a game and it's schizomanic. Life is a game played to win. And I will catch you guys later. And thank you again.